Hi guys, welcome back to Beth K Beauty. Today I'm bringing you an empties video. And um, empties videos are some of my favorite videos to watch. I love watching other YouTubers do their empties. I know it's kind of funny, it's like a bin full of garbage that I've saved to share with you. Um, but it's great because you know that these products have been used and used thoroughly and so I can give you a really honest review on all of these things, whether or not I would repurchase them or not. So let's dig right in. I have a whole bunch of things here. I'm going to start with hair care first. I have a few things um, that are empties from hair care. One of them is this Batiste Dry Shampoo. I have tried it in a lot of different varieties. Um, this one is light and blonde, a hint of color. So I like this one. I have, I have blonde hair, kind of medium blonde hair. And so this is nice because it doesn't leave a white cast. It sort of melds in with the actual hair color that I have. Um, and I love the way this makes my hair feel. It's very soft and it doesn't make it feel grungy like some dry shampoos can. So this one's empty. I have another dry shampoo. I tried this one because it was buy one get one free at Ulta a while back and so I was like why not? It's a little bit cheaper than the Batiste as well but I didn't like it as well. It didn't, it didn't do as good of a job. So I didn't notice as much of a like revival in my hair. I didn't get as much body or volume from it. Um, and there was definitely some white cast from this. One thing that I like about it is it has a really fine spray. Um, and the brand, by the way, is pssst, just really random and funny. Um, but I would, I would use this again in a pinch for sure, but I don't think I would repurchase. I recently just bought and returned actually a Suave dry shampoo. Um, I wanted to review that for you and I bought it because it's like it was like six dollars I think for a two pack whereas this Batiste is like $8.99 by itself um, and I, ha I used it once and I had to return it immediately. My hair felt so grungy. And I want dry shampoo to give me, I love using it for second day hair and doing like a style with my hair. My hair holds style better on day two and dry shampoo helps with that. But the swab was so good. Oh my gosh, it was really bad. Um, another hair product that I am through with is the Texture Tease by Garnier. Okay, you guys, this product is amazing. It, if you have, okay, I have super fine hair and down here in Florida, we have just so much humidity. It's really humid, um, like all year round. And so I'll get lots of little flyaways and it, it also just sort of the humidity makes my hair fall flat. This stuff is amazing. It's like, let's see, it says holds lift and texture with a reworkable finish, dry touch finish spray. It's like a hairspray that has micro mineral powder in it. So it's like the best of both worlds in terms of dry shampoo and hairspray. I would not use it as a dry shampoo because it does have like the hairspray qualities, but it just helps my hair do what it's supposed to despite the humidity and gives it a little lift and texture. The thing that makes me so sad about this is that I think it is like on its way out. I think they're discontinuing this product, which makes me so sad because it's so good. So I went looking for it because this is gone. I went looking for it at Target and I couldn't find it anywhere in like the regular aisles. And then I saw that it was on clearance on an end cap. So I bought four. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. I also have, so I got this sample of the Hask Argan Oil from Morocco um, shampoo and conditioner. It says strengthens and restores free of sulfates and parabens. And I got this as a sample when I did a recent order on Ulta.com and they always send you little samples when you order um, online. And I used these bad boys up and loved it. I have since repurchased this this stuff makes my hair so soft. It smells like kind of fruity and delicious, but it's free of all of those things that are going to damage, you know, your hair in terms of drying it out, 
the sulfates and things like that in shampoo can also wreck your color and that kind of stuff. So I love that it's more natural ingredients. And even though it's a very moisturizing and sort of repairing shampoo and conditioner, it doesn't weigh my hair down. So bonus repurchased. And these, the actual full size of these at Ulta are $5.99 a piece. So this is not even an expensive product. So if you get both and then use the Ulta um, coupon that they usually have for $3.50 off, it's like less than $10 to buy this set of shampoo and conditioner. All right, let's move on to face. I have some makeup goodies in here that I will get to, but I'm going to go on to face next. Um, one thing that I am through with is this Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. I saved the box so you can see what it looks like on the shelves. This is the night one. Um, I don't use the day one because it has chemical sunscreens, which my skin does not like. My skin doesn't do well with like non-mineral sunscreens. So use this guy up. I love this. If you go to the website beautypedia.com, which is associated with Paula's Choice, they give you so many reviews and ratings and kind of the scientific information behind what makes a product effective and good. You'd be so surprised how many face creams that are expensive and fancy are not actually doing much for your skin. So this one is highly, highly rated. It's like $12, makes my skin feel great. So this is my night cream and I've repurchased that already. Um, speaking of Paula's Choice, this is a, um, it's called Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense and it has broad spectrum SPF 30 and this has just the mineral sunscreens, which I really like. It has a light tint to it. So I can use this in place of foundations on like a very minimal makeup day. Um, I love this. It doesn't break my skin out. It gives me just the right amount of moisture and it's fantastic. I've since repurchased this and again, Paula's Choice is an awesome brand. Check them out. Another uh, product along the same lines, this is another face cream. It's by Kiss My Face and it's an SPF 30 mineral sunscreen as well, moisturizing and all of that. I like this almost as much as my Paula's Choice. This one is like $9 and this one is $26, although they often have sales on Paula's Choice website. This one I feel like is better for my skin in the summertime when I have a little more oil, a little more, you know, there's more humidity, it's hotter. Um, and this one is a little better when my skin is drier. So I kind of go back and forth between them, but I love having an option that's super highly rated on Paula's Choice. This um, particular one, the Face Factor with Hydresia, is highly rated and it's only $9. I bought it on Amazon, by the way. Um, another face cream, here we go. Um, this one I've been through, like before I started doing lots and lots of research on ingredients and things that were in my skincare products, um, I used this CeraVe or CeraVe, I don't know, um, AM Facial Moisturizing Sunscreen with SPF 30. Again, this one is pretty good and has mostly physical sunscreens and it has a lot of other benefits for the skin. It's really easy to use, like it's not too heavy, not too light, that kind of thing. Um, but again, in my research, I found that it just wasn't quite as good of a product. Not that it's bad for your skin, but it just wasn't quite as good of a product as this one or the Paula's Choice one. So that is not going to be a repurchase for me. Another skincare thing that I have in here is this Vasanti Brighten Up like Facial Scrub. It's a little like sample size that lasted me forever. Like the full size of this must honestly last forever because this thing lasted so long. Um, it's a physical exfoliator, which I tried not to use very frequently because I know that they can irritate or damage your skin. But this particular one really felt like it works. So I know this is expensive in full size. And since I'm not a huge fan of physical exfoliator, like the actual scrubbing feeling on my skin, I probably will not repurchase, although I did enjoy it while I had it. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I'm sorry if this is like the longest video ever, but let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, another thing that I've tried is um, kind of skincare related, kind of, maybe. This is um, Summer Color Self Tanning Mist Airbrush Color Fresh Citrus Fragrance um, for all skin tones. 
So um, this is basically spray tan at home and it's by Banana Boat. And I actually really like this one. I've since been trying a like foam self tan and I like it better. It's just easier to control and it dries more quickly. So I would definitely recommend this product if you like the spray variety of self tanner. Um, like if you like that format really well, then this one is great. The smell was not too bad because you know how self tanner can smell. Um, and the color was really good. So I would definitely um, repurchase this again if I wanted to go back to spray tan. But for now, I'm testing out the foam variety. Um, okay, now on to makeup. We have a few things in here. But one of them is a holy grail product for me that I just decided I absolutely have to let go of finally. It is the CoverGirl and Olay. There it is. Simply Ageless concealer in 205. This packaging is obviously, no, you can't find this at the drugstore anymore. This particular concealer, you cannot find it anymore. I think I got this like on its way out of whatever, like they stopped making it. I got it like at the end of that run like two years ago. So this is over two years old, but it is the best concealer that I've ever used. It's like this creamy, full coverage, creamy, not creasing, not drying, just good concealer, and I love it. So I've heard that the Time Balm Concealer by The Balm might be similar, so I think I'm going to give that a try, but it's so old, I just have to let it go. Let it go. Okay, no singing. Um, another thing that I have is a... Eyeliner, this is Master Drama by iStudio, Bold Brown Eyeliner. It's one of the automatic pencils, and it's totally done. It doesn't roll up anymore, um, and it's kind of dried out. This is really good. I actually like how creamy and smooth these pencils go on. I've had the brown and the black. Um, I'm liking other ones better now, but if you're looking for a good drugstore option of just a really smooth and silky eyeliner, and if you have dry skin especially, this is a really good one. If you have more oily skin and liners tend to smudge on you or you want to use it in your waterline, I would not recommend it because it will kind of smear and fade if you touch it or, you know, sweat or whatever. Um, but if that's not really an issue for you, this is really fantastic and affordable. So that was by Maybelline. Um, another one that I have, an eyeliner, I got this in like an Ipsy bag, I think, and it's, um, this one's not an empty, actually. It's, I think I'm going to give this away, but it's just a regular pencil liner, and it's a really pretty shade of purple. It's called Pencil Me In, uh, that's the brand, um, and it's the color Amethyst. It's a natural formula. It's cute. It has a little sharpener right in the cap. But for me, it just, it tugs on my eyelids too much, which a lot of like regular sharpenable pencils do. I prefer a creamier but waterproof formula. And Stila makes really good um, pencils that are creamy like the Maybelline, but they last all day. They're waterproof. Like I can wear them to the beach and it's good. So I'm going to probably give that guy away. Another pencil type product that I'm uh done with, used up, is the Alme Brow Defining Pencil, and does it have a shade? I feel like it doesn't have a shade, but it's like their lightest, it's like taupe, the cap kind of gives you the color, um, and it has a little spoolie on the end, which is a nice small one, so it's, you know, a little more precise, and what I liked about this while it, before it died, was that it is a very fine um, and dry product so it's good for like really drawing on the brow hairs and not having like a creamy all over color if you just want like light wisps so it looks more natural like your hair then this is a really good one one annoying thing I found is because it is a more dry formula if I would push it or like twist it up too much it would break off so I found I wasted a lot of product in this one I've heard really good things about the NYX or NYX one, um, that it's really comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And so I think I'm going to try that one next. So I will not repurchase this. Oh, there's so many things. I'm actually down to like just a couple more. Um, I am through with two 
trial size or like, you know, sample size uh, mascaras, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Benefit Roller Lash. I loved the Benefit Roller Lash. I love what it did for my lashes. And um, I think I found a dupe in the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Only thing that seems different to me is this one was a little bit easier to remove at night when I'm removing my eye makeup. This one came off a little bit easier. The Maybelline has like great staying powder and it's not even the waterproof version. So probably have a full review on that mascara coming up, but I really like this and I would consider repurchasing it. If it weren't for the price, it's so much more expensive than drugstore mascaras, it's like $20 or something. And then the Better Than Sex mascara, I feel like I've definitely found a dupe for, and I'm gonna share that with you right now because I also have an empty of that one. My favorite drugstore mascara has been this Lash Potion um, by Revlon, and I, it's a great volumizing formula. It's, it's not super lengthening, but it's very volumizing and very black, so it just, it does what I want it to do. It's not a super dry formula, not super wet. It washes off easily. It doesn't crumble and flake or smear or smudge. And I found all of those things to be true with the Better Than Sex mascara as well. And so I'm actually wearing both of these on my eyes today. Um, and this one isn't actually gone. It's just, you know, it's just a sample. So I'll probably keep using it, but it's almost there. This one is gone and I have since repurchased, but I want you to just take a close look at my lashes. So one eye is the Revlon lash potion and the other eye is the Better Than Sex mascara. And I guess the question is, can you tell a difference between the two lashes? Can you guess which is which? So the Better Than Sex mascara is actually on this side. And the Revlon is this side. I almost even like the Revlon better. So don't know that I would repurchase. The only thing that I like better is this brush. I feel like it, it's just so like gigundo that it makes quicker work of building up the volume. And this one is also gigundo, but it just has a slightly different shape, like a more standard shape. I still love it though. And, but yeah, so the brush shape is a little bit different. I think that I would kind of be curious to see if I like bought one of the full versions if I could use that wand in this mascara. That would be like the perfect hybrid team of mascara. Okay, I have two more things, just two. I also have the these Alme eye makeup remover pads. Love these, they're so simple, they're so easy to use. This one I think was like $7, it has 120 of the remover pads, and it just does great a great job at taking off my eye makeup. I use one on each eye before I do my whole face wash just to get as much of the eye products off that I can before I go in. I want all the makeup to be gone at the end of the day, so those do a great job. And then one last thing I used up was this sample of the Replica that's the brand, Beach Walk Perfume. And it totally smells like, it smells like fresh air. So this was my experience that. I don't use up perfumes very often, but this is a little guy, so. Okay, that was my empties, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it gave you a sense of what products out there are good and are worth repurchasing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will thumbs up this video and that you will subscribe to my channel. I will catch you next time. Bye.